Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is uh, Triangle Inequalities, Module 22.3. I think this is a pretty fast lesson, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. All right, let's get started here. Here's our, our essential question with our most awesome teachers. How can we use inequalities to describe the relationship among the sides and the angles in a triangle? Inequalities are like a less than or less than or equal to or greater than or greater than or equal to. So remember in the last lesson, you guys, um, uh, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two congruent sides, okay? An equilateral triangle or an equiangular triangle, they're the same thing. Uh, they have three equal sides. They have three equal angles also. A scaling triangle is a triangle that doesn't have any equal sides. So we'll be talking about all of those today. So triangle inequality theorem just says that the sum of any two side lengths of a triangle is always greater than the third side length right there. Okay, so if we had this triangle right here, then uh, we have to consider three possibilities. So, so this side length plus this side length must be longer than this side and then you got to do there's three uh, possibilities so this side plus this side has to be bigger than this side and finally you guys uh, this side uh, plus this side uh, has to be bigger than this side right here okay so there's three possibilities all right so so let's determine whether there and I'll show you a, a picture of that in just seconds determine whether a triangle can be formed uh, with the given side lengths okay so we got to consider all three possibilities okay is 4 plus 8 bigger than 10 well yeah that's 12 all right how about 8 plus 10 is that bigger than 4 well yeah how about 4 plus 10 is that bigger than 8 yeah okay so we can make a triangle with that so the answer is yes how about this one is 7 plus 9 bigger than 18 well that's a big no right there 7 plus 9 is 16 so we can't even make a triangle how about if we have an isosceles triangle 5 and 5 and 10 5 plus 5 equals 10 it has to be greater than 10 so it can't be equal it has to be greater so we can't make a triangle right there so here check this out let's pretend like we got these uh, side lengths right here can we make a triangle using this side and we'll say these two sides right here let's say if I put that side right over there and that side right over there is there any way I can put these together to make a triangle well I don't think so if I could rotate that around let's see if I just rotated it down you know and did the, the this would be the extreme by where it just flattening them then down can you see it's there's no way that this segment right here is going to reach that segment right there there's no way so this side plus this side is not bigger than that side right there so let's let's take that guy out of there let's let's insert this guy can i make a triangle with those well heck yeah i can if i just rotated that up a little bit and I don't know, it's kind of hard to do this on the spot right here, but if I could, you know, rotate these guys around, sooner or later I'm going to be able to make a triangle so these guys will fit right there. I'm going to just waste too much video time right there, but but you guys get the idea. I can I can totally make a triangle because this side plus this side is greater than that side right there, okay? So find the range of all possible values for the lengths of the third side using what we just learned, the triangle inequality theorem, okay? So I see 12 and 10 and x, so we got to consider all three possibilities. 12 plus 10 is greater than x x plus 10 is greater than 12 and finally x plus 12 is greater than x so there they are right there all right now since we're talking about lengths right here we can we can disregard this guy right here because 12 is already bigger than 10 so we can just disregard that guy right there let me uh, put that on there we go so that one's out because 12 is already bigger than 10 so we don't need to worry about that but if we went ahead and solved for x here we go minus 10 minus 10 we get x is greater than 2 here x is greater than negative 2 well we know it's greater than negative numbers because it's a length right there and then here if we add those together we get 22 is greater than x right here so x is somewhere between it's bigger than 2, but it's less than 22, so it's in the range of 2 and 22. So 2 is less than x is less than 22. So the shortcut is we add them together to get the upper boundary, and we subtract them, and we get the lower boundary, and it can be any number that's between 
2 and 22, okay? So it could be 2.1, 2 2.2, it could be 5, 8, 15, 19, 20, 21.9, but it can't be 22. It could be any number in between. All right, so let's do that shortcut with these guys. So if I subtract these guys, that equals 0, so the lower boundary is 0, so it has to be greater than 0, and it has to be less than the sum of these two numbers, 30 right there, okay? So it could be any number. It could be 0 0.1, it could be 1, 2, it could be 15, 20, 20, 25, 29, all the way up to 29.99999. We can make a triangle. It looked, it almost looked like it wasn't a triangle if it was the closer it is, but anyways. So here's the side angle relationship in triangles, and this says if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then that just means that the larger angle is opposite the longer side. All right, we'll talk about that in a second. So, so also, the smaller angle is opposite the smaller side. And if there's a medium angle, and there usually is, then the medium angle is opposite the medium side, okay? So here we go. Here's an example. So it says list the angles in order from least to greatest, okay? So here we go. So here's the smallest side. So it goes straight across the opposite angle. This is the smallest angle right here. Angle A is the smallest angle. Here's the medium side right here. So the opposite angle is straight across. So there's the medium angle, angle C. And the biggest angle is opposite this biggest side. So that would be angle B. So the angles in order from least to greatest would be A, C, B, okay? All right, so it would be uh, the measure of angle A is less than the measure of angle C is less than the measure of angle B. You can put commas in between them. You could say angle A is less than angle C or just angle A, comma, angle C, comma, angle B because it just says list the order. Uh, the angles in order from least to greatest, okay? So the converse is also true in, you know, angle-side relationship and triangles. I just want you to know this, you guys. If, if two angles of a triangle are not congruent, then the longer side is opposite the, lar uh, the larger angle, okay? All right, so for each triangle, order the sides from uh, least to greatest, okay? So here's some a triangle. Now, these angles should add up to 180. I shouldn't have uh, put one of these angles in there. I should have taken out one of these three angles so we could figure out that third angle, okay? Because triangles add up to 180. So if we pretend like that 45 is not in there, then we'd add these guys up to 135, and then we do 180 minus 135, and that get us that 45 right there. All right, so now this is the smallest angle, so opposite, straight across, so angle C is the smallest, so straight across, AB is the smallest side, okay? The medium angle is this angle, so angle B is the medium side angle, so go straight across, AC is the medium side. Okay, so the largest angle is at 70, so which is A, straight across, so that'll tell us BC is the largest side. So um, I'll order the, the side lengths from least to greatest. So AB is the least, that's the medium, and that's the greatest right there. So there they are from least to greatest right there. Okay, let's try one more. All right, so here we have a right triangle. Okay, so this is the smallest angle. Go straight across. This is the smallest side. Okay, AC. This is the medium angle. Now, this is 90 right there, so that's the biggest one. This is the medium angle, so BC is the medium side. This is the biggest angle, so straight across, AB is the biggest side right there. Okay, so it's the smallest angle is angle B. The smallest side is AC. Okay, the medium angle is uh, A, so the medium side is opposite that. And then there's the big side right there. So the, the sides listed from uh, least to greatest are, are right there. All right, if you are in, uh, in my class, I would probably give you that. Take care.